though, children, they are off from school today, so it may be a good time to ask them to take care of a chore or two, yeah, right? You could try. If you don't <laughs> think it can be done, wait for it. Uh oh. Television host Mel Robbins <laughs> is here with a few principles to take the stress out of getting kids to actually help out. You okay. say it can be done. Come it on, can, Mel. It can be done, and not by screaming. But okay. motivating ourselves as adults yeah. to do chores is hard enough. So, how right. are you motivating the kiddos? Well, I use something that I call the ABC method. We've okay. talked about it on the show. I just shared it on Dr. Oz. And it's the only thing that works because screaming backfires, especially mm. with teenagers. They shut down. Oh, they yeah. stop listening to you. It also has a dramatic effect on their confidence. So instead, you're going to use the ABCs. A, you ask ahead. Kids need previewing. So ask ahead. Tomorrow morning when you get up, make sure you have your backpack with you when you come downstairs. B, when they don't do it, because mm -hmm. they're not going to do it, right. breathe, <laughs> don't scream, and then okay. send them back. Send them back to do it. Okay. And then C, when they come back and they've got the backpack, instead of being frustrated, why couldn't you have just done that the first time? Right. You're going to cheer for them. And here's the little trick when you cheer for your kids. Always reach out and, like, try to touch them when you're yeah. doing it. Because two things happen. When you give physical reinforcement when you're cheering for your child, number one, the positivity sinks in better and they feel the praise. Number two, you're training your own brain to spot the good. By ah. physically touching them, there's a connection with your mind that helps you spot the good. Because part of what happens for us parents mm -hmm. is you come home from work, you're exhausted. You're home all day with the kids from school, you're exhausted. You're triggered. And so you tend to see all the things that are going wrong. Right. Then you train your own mind to be screaming, to be spotting the things that are going wrong, instead of training yourself to cheer for your kids in terms of the things that are going Could right. Could that be true not just with chores, right? So Screaming just never seems to work. Never. N screaming never works. The reason why we do it, and this is super fascinating, there's something called ghosts in the nursery. So in my house, my mom was the yeller. Who was the house in your who was the yeller in your my house? Mom, yeah. Oh, it was my mother. Yeah. Okay. And when you were a kid Sorry, and mom. your mom is well, <laughs> know, right? when you were a kid now. and your mom is yelling, we tend to feel overwhelmed. We tend to shut down as kids. You tend to feel like frustrated with your mom. Mm -hmm. Well, what happens when you're an adult? and you come home and you see the house is a wreck, you feel overwhelmed, you feel frustrated. Mm -hmm. And so what do you do? You marry the exact response that mm. you saw when you were a gotcha. kid and you had the same emotion. Now, I like the breathing because I've noticed in my children who are still very young, three and one, when they don't do what I want and I go, I just take that moment, my son sees it and then he'll give me or do whatever it is that he was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. yes. Way better than me yelling at him. Yes, and then they get used to tuning you out. Yeah. And so it's way more manipulative. <laughs> it's more manipulative when you're positive and you're cheering for them. And so it it's like reverse psychology. If you can ask ahead, take a deep breath, yeah. send them back, and then cheer for them mm -hmm. for doing the job, you know, great job. Also, the five second rule of counting backwards, five, four, three, two, one, works with kids. Yeah. If you start counting backwards, they do oh, it. I at do that school. all the time. Uh oh, mm -hmm. she's counting. Oh, yeah. right. Time to move. She's serious now. I so tell you, that five second rule changed everything, right? Mm -hmm. So, a lot happening this week on the show. You have a Super Bowl oh champ my gosh. on. We have a show on Wednesday that will touch your heart. We have a, a guy who is a Super Bowl champion, played for the New England Patriots, played for the Pittsburgh Steelers, comes on to tell the harrowing story of his fall from grace, you guys. Oh, wow. He went from Super Bowl champion to a $1,000 a day heroin habit mm. wow. after getting addicted to painkillers. He wrote me a long letter asking for help clawing back from uh, that fall from yeah. grace. Yeah. He's been sober for almost a decade, wow. and he's here on the show to tell his story. Today, a fascinating topic. We take you inside of women who say they were lured into cults, and you're going to hear their fascinating stories of not only being in what they mm -hmm. say was a cult, but also a crazy story about escaping one. Wow. Oh, goodness. Okay. That's today. Some serious drama on the show yes, today. Yes, amazing. I, I find that whole topic fascinating. I do, too, because you always wonder, how did that happen to yes. you? Well, right? I say to the woman, you seem normal. normal. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> how did this happen to right. you? Yeah. All right. Got Speaking it. of the five-second rule, we're getting the yeah. okay, we're we're getting getting that countdown in our ear right yeah. now. All right, Mel, Thanks. thank you for coming. Thank in. We're you. sure to check out Mel Robbins' show every weekday at 9 a.m., of course, following the Pix 11 Morning News, everybody.